Good morning. Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter and it's also Mother's Day. And so we certainly wish all of our mothers living and deceased, especially the living, happy Mother's Day. And we have three intentions today for the three of us. Uh, I already did the people of the parish last Wednesday. Uh, we have Mother's Day envelopes, we have protection of unborn children, and we have the eternal repose of Paula and Sheta. So those are the three mass intentions, one for each of us today. And <clears throat> the, um, I'll talk about that at the end of Mass, or during the holiday. Let us begin now with the entrance antiphon. Oh, sing of a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders in the sight of the nations, for he has shown his deliverance. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have daily sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those who were pleased to make new and holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit, and come to the joys of life eternal. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve a table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to pray and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. 
Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Let your, Let your mercy, mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt <clears throat> you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with a ten string lyre, chant his praise. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Let your mercy, mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are open, those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. Let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God and like living stones. Let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and the stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall, they stumble by disobeying the word as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his horn, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into this wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Mother's Day always falls during the Easter season, and it's like you never really find it in the Gospels, <laughs> in, the, in the Scriptures. So it's hard to really speak on the beautiful vocation of mothers, except perhaps one thought that I had today is the reality that all through the New Testament, and even in the Old Testament, those who really pass the faith on generation to generation tend to be the mothers and the grandmothers. Uh, and even Paul says to uh, was it Timothy or Titus, uh, kindle the f faith that you received from your mother and your grandmother. And so that role of the, of the mother and the grandmother to share the faith, and to uh, really help us to learn to pray and to practice the, the faith. And so we also, at this time, we, we see in this uh, second reading, uh, he talks again about, Peter's talking about Jesus as the, uh, the, the eternal priest, and that uh, uh, we're all a holy priesthood, built up to offer sacrifices acceptable to God. We are built, you let yourselves be built into a spiritual house. So we are the living stones that build the, the church. Uh, and so even though we might be in a little room that was really supposed to be the single car garage and it's our chapel, uh, it's still you and us, all of us together are the church, the living stones of the church. And <clears throat> so we, we find that again, we do have women, widows, and they seem to be discriminated against in this Christian community, this fledgling Christian community that's gathered in Jerusalem after Pentecost. The Greek-speaking feel that they're being pushed aside and discriminated against by the Hebrew-speaking, not getting their fair share of the distribution of food. And so they complain to the leaders of the community, to the Twelve. They've chosen the replacement for Judas, they're back to Twelve. And they complain about this, and well, it's an interesting point, I think, is the apostles recognize that Jesus did not leave them the total blueprint of the church. And they were, and they know that they were left with the responsibility and the authority to, to mold this community. And so they tell them, uh, pick, pick seven men. Pick seven good men, good men of good repute, uh, and present them to us. And so they created a new reality. Uh, we see deacons, servants of the table. And so uh, we find that they uh, choose these men, and most of these are Greek names and not Hebrew names. And so they have a little bit of affirmative action, I guess, in the Jerusalem community. And uh, they choose these people and they set them, they pray over them, and lay hands upon them, and uh, send them to do this practical stuff in the community. But they didn't just stay there. Several of them, uh, we hear you know, Stephen was the deacon, Philip. Philip seems to go all over the place. Some of them did preach, they didn't just serve at table. But um, anyway, that's, so we also wish a, a kind of a happy anniversary, if you will, to deacons. Um, permanent deacons and transitory, transitional deacons. Completely switching gears, the uh, lockdown that was announced a month or so ago was, was until May 15th. Uh, today is May 10th. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, the Archbishop is going to have a Zoom conference at 10 in the morning to tell us the next steps. Uh, the bulletin has to go out already tomorrow, so you won't know the next steps in the bulletin, which is in the, found online. But uh, my, I already have my Wednesday letter finished, except for that second paragraph. And so as soon as I find out what he tells us on Wednesday, I'll amend my letter and resend it to those who put it out in email and put it online and Facebook and things so that you will see what, the, what, it, what it is. Hope, I heard through the grapevine that they're talking about beginning of June now uh, to open up in some way. 
hopefully it's like a fourth of the church at least and not 10 people which won't do us much good in this big church um, but we Cassandra and I have sat down and we hoping that by July things will be back to closer to normal uh, we have scheduled and uh, I don't want to jump the gun in case we find out that you know, that won't work but we're talking about Monday Wednesday and Friday evening for a confirmation uh, first semester on Monday second semester on Wednesday and the adults on Friday and then on Tuesday and Thursday of that week first communion classes uh, those who had their catechesis on Tuesdays on Tuesday and those on Thursday and Thursday so hopefully we'll be able to have those masses specifically for uh, those sacraments as soon as we get a word to open up, even if it's just 10 people, I'm going to start going through the catechumens, the elect, uh, and bring them uh, into the church. Um, so we might end up with, we have, I think, 35 of them, or I might end up with 35 masses before, if they only allow 10 people. But uh, that's the first priority of the elect. And so those will be done as soon as we can. And so as we continue to get antsy and things and, and wonder if we're being overprotective, but we, um, it's, some bishop just, I just read, I forget if, uh, where he was from, but he said again, he put on, that somehow it is, a, it's, it's, a, it's a piece of justice that we protect other people by sacrificing some of the freedoms that perhaps we could safely enjoy, but which might hurt someone else. So with that perspective, we go forward. And also another positive thing, as I said at the beginning, uh, becoming it really made me a little more aware, although I think I was reared on a lot of that uh, Cold War stuff as a kid, but so many people were kept from sacrifice of the Mass, uh, were barred from churches by different regimes and things. And uh, there's still people who, um, it's very dangerous to go to church. Very so often in Nigeria, some a terrorist group blows up a church for the people on Sunday. Uh, so we are now not able to gather. And so let us at least have a little bit of a visceral experience of those who underwent persecution, still undergo per persecution in our own time. And to, so give ourselves a, um, one of the worst things you can ever do is to feel sorry for yourself. And so we have to make sure we don't slip into that. And again, as we're uh, we're celebrating Fifth Sunday this week. Uh, Thursday would have been the traditional Holy uh, Ascension Thursday, but we moved it to Sunday. So next Sunday we'll celebrate the Feast of the, um, the Ascension of the Lord. Um, okay. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father of the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, earth of all of things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> to God, the Father Almighty, Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, May every prayer of our heart be directed, for his will is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. In response to his petition after 
period of silence is, uh, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Holy Church of God that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the peoples of all the world that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are oppressed by any kind of need that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For ourselves and our own community that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrificial as a sacrifice acceptable to him. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And let us pray also for the eternal repose of Paula and Chetha. For her we pray. Lord, oh, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church, for you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the love of his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Lord Lord Spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. And the Lord Lord. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, 
that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, the Saint Leonard Muriado, Saint Denis Rosera, and with all the saints and his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Hosea, Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Holy Lord, the of the and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. You don't touch peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter into the my room. room. But only, only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia, for the Son whom you bear to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. We pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. Have a great Mother's Day. God bless.